Get rid of it. No, no. Oh my God, as if. Sammy Fuggers. Yes, guys, and I present to you a new club to tick off from my bucket list to visit. So as you can see, I'm at Rodney Parade, the home of Newport County, the team that we battered 6-1 at Home Park in 2016-17 that finally got us promoted out of League 2 back into League 1 in what was a superb season for us, only to be ruined on the final day that we didn't win the league and Portsmouth did. But nevertheless, nevertheless, regardless, I've come to here to basically complete another stadium to visit while I wait for my next train. And as I head further north for this weekend, as we all know. As we all know, guys, this episode is Birmingham away. We've got them on Saturday at St Andrews. A massive game. They're currently in. The... They're currently fourth in the league at the moment, so we're expecting it to be tough. We've obviously just unluckily lost to Southampton last Saturday, so that was a pain in the ass. But I'll tell you what: if anyone remembers the FA Cup of 21-22. We knocked them out at St Andrews and beat them before we played my dream fixture at Stamford Bridge of us taking on Chelsea, which obviously from my point of view, you can't get any better than that. So in terms of recency, we know how to win at Birmingham's ground at St Andrews, but I have a feeling that Brum are looking a lot better already this season than they are all these seasons ago, struggling in mid-table, bottom half mid-table of the championship. And they've been in the championship ever since 2011, because that's when they got relegated from the Premier League. Just like with Watford, if we can at least get a point on Saturday, it would be absolutely fantastic. I'm going to get the view of Newport in the distance here, actually, while I'm walking. But if we get a point at least like we did against Watford then we're in for a very good result I'll tell you that now on Saturday it's a huge clash at St Andrews and of course Birmingham are currently fourth in the league at the moment in the playoffs right now after three games obviously that could easily change after Saturday but we don't know what to expect there we haven't played Birmingham since well since that FA Cup game but League-wise, we haven't played them in God knows how long because we didn't play them in 2010 when we got relegated from the Championship because they were in the Premier League. It would have been 2009 
when we just stayed up and Norwich, Southampton and Charlton went down. That was the last time we played Birmingham because Birmingham got promoted that season with Wolves and Burnley. So, yeah, no, honestly, league-wise, this is going to be really interesting, of course. But also, yeah, if you remember that St Andrews game in the FA Cup with that brilliant winner from Ryan Law to win the game for us, not Birmingham out, and to face Chelsea in the next round. I'll tell you what, it's going to be interesting to see how we cope for our second away day of the season. If, but like I said, if we can repeat what we did at Watford, lovely. If we can do more than what we did at Watford, even better. And, he, and if we can bounce back from that absolute unluckiness against Southampton at home last week, even better. And still a brilliant way to start the season. So, yeah, I'm currently in Newport at the moment, waiting for my train to go back up to the Midlands to see my family and all that. And then on Saturday, we're off to Brum. We're off to Peaky Blinders FC, Birmingham City. Oh, it's a big one, guys, on Saturday. Come on. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Here we go then, guys. Birmingham away. Let's do this. Come on, you Greens. Currently in Newport, obviously ticking off another football club to visit because I want to tick off all the clubs that I mainly know, of course, across England, Wales and Scotland for my bucket list, for my life goal to visit the whole country for it all as well. Let me know in the comment section how you guys are doing with how many clubs and stadiums you visited from your fan point of view. Please let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear from you guys on what you've all experienced from not just the 92, but from National League games and below as well and seeing their stadiums too. It's now two o'clock, lineups are out. Harvey, what is the lineup for our goal? So, uh, you got Connor Hazard, uh, Dan Scar, Joe Edwards, Lewis Goodson, Kesler Hayden, Adam Randall, Finn um, just and Jordan Halton, Morgan Whitaker, Bally Mumba, and Ryan Hardy. Interesting, interesting. So, same, same lineup as last week? Basically, yeah. Fair enough. Can someone hold my point and can someone give me that? Hello. We've made it to St Andrews, the home of Birmingham City Football Club. And I'm joined by the usual suspects, Harvey England, Harvey Rosevere and Liam. Lads, how are we feeling coming into today? Confident. confident. Yeah, confident. I'm oh, yeah. confident. We're all confident. We're all confident. Score predictions, boys. 2-1 our goal. 2-1 our goal. Oh, by the way, we're part of score. Unchanged from my, uh, my appearance in the Argo way, 2-0 greens. Is, is. And it, oh, hello. Hello, you all right? Hello, you're right. I'm sorry, I'm filming it, man. Let's score predictions today, mate. Jack. Hello. We are going to win. 
three, two. I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> amazing, amazing. In the meantime, is there anyone for Birmingham you're all nervous for coming into today? Obviously, I would have been, I would have been nervous for uh, uh, so we could have done anything there. Otherwise, it, they, they would have, he would have led them to a win. What's it, let's come on I'm joined by Steve, Birmingham fan here, mate. How are you feeling coming into today? Well, I'm vaguely optimistic, but I'm also a bit wary. You've had a really oh, good, okay. you've had a good run. You've good, good to get promotion. Yeah, well, you're the same yeah, as me. Yeah. Yeah. And you've had a good start to the season. Yeah, I'm very pleased. So, Happy with fourth so far, start the season. Oh, very, very, yeah. very. I think we're sort of uh, doing better than we expected. And considering all the seasons before and all that as well, it's just oh, yeah. it's it's a brilliant good. start under um, John Eustace as well, isn't it? But um, yeah, good ball, that's good. What's the score for today, mate? Well, I'm going to go 2-1 to Birmingham. Which, Fair enough. Because I think you'll give us a good game. Oh, OK. Who's scoring for Birmingham today? Oh, uh, Bakuza, maybe. Probably two of them. And is there anyone for Argyle that... Anything about us that you're really nervous for coming into today? Like something you really need to kind of feel like you're looking out for from the Birmingham point of view? Nothing specific, to be honest, but obviously you are doing quite well. Yeah, because last time we came here in the FA Cup, we won here as well. So oh, I, know. I remember it well. Yeah, yeah. Very, uh, <laughs> yeah no, fair enough. But we're better than we were. Yeah, fair enough. Where's, um, where, where do you think Birmingham will finish this season? Um, I'll be happy with top 10. Uh, don't be realistic. Do you think we'll finish this season? Well, I hope you do from the mid table. Um, I'll take that. John Goff, Birmingham fan here. Mate, how are you feeling coming into today, pal? I, I always feel it, that if you've got a fight with someone, <laughs> which is a football match, you must always look at the opposition before you start thinking yourself. That's very true. And if I look at Plymouth, they might not have big names, but they're a team. And the problem we've got, oh, we, yeah, we've only just started because we used to have the, uh, loan players that left. So we're building the team, you have built it, so it'll be an interesting match. Fair enough, mate. What's the score prediction? With, uh, everybody will say we're going to win, I would take the draw. Fair enough. And where do you think both Birmingham and Plymouth will finish the season? P Plymouth, I reckon, will be un just under mid table. I'll take that. I'll be take that. Because and we've been to Plymouth Ground, by the way. Home Park, yeah. Yeah, right. Lovely ground. Oh, I'll take and, that. And um, this is not me being rude, but they were lovely people. Mind you, nobody bought me a pint, but you can't have <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Isn't it great following Oh, 100%. You know. We come from one of the furthest parts of the entire country, so we love it anyway. So yes, yeah. it's, it's just great. Away matches, you can't beat them. My wife there, who's grabbing me, would. I'll get out your way. I hope I that works. agree. Uh, and where do you think Birmingham will finish this season? Um, I would hope we don't do too well, because we're not good enough to go up. Okay, fair you, enough. You've got to bear in mind that for the last two or three seasons, we've had to wait till almost the last match of the season and just yeah. win by the... And you, you, may have, you well, you'll have been there before. Oh, 100%. Right? Especially when we went down in 2010. And it's like having no money. You, unless you've been down and you stand there and you're, you're going down a division. Oh, yeah. The pain is dreadful. Oh, yeah, no, I can imagine. Very quickly, very briefly, when we went down to the second division or whatever, you know, first and now, my <laughs> nephew, when I was almost in two, said, don't worry, young, we can go to those funny little grounds. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you, mate. No, enjoy my the pleasure. game. Best of luck. What was the score prediction before the game? I thought it was going to be 3-1. Oh, okay, fair enough. So you're confident then before yeah. the get-go then, yeah, fair enough. What was your score prediction? To be honest, I, I, I'm difficult to predict us. We're, we're unpredictable. Um, I, would, I would have settled for a point, to be honest, for the game. Um, <laughs> to be any, any point in, in this league. It's a tough league, so no, any point's a good point. Um, so I wouldn't have said I didn't really have a prediction, to be honest. Come in the boys. As Liam just said then, here we are then, St Andrews, and we're going underneath a bit of a tunnel first. VTEC Luton. <laughs> Sorry, Birmingham fans, if you heard that. <laughs> That's Liam Martin for you. But yeah, uh, here we are, St Andrews. A new away day for us all. Right, we're underway here at St Andrews. Birmingham versus Plymouth. Come on, you Greens. God, Joe, God, Joe. Ah. Oh. Morgan shot that wide. Just gone six and a half minutes. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. No. Are you taking the mick? This is 
so annoying. Well, that's a disaster start. It was all going so brightly. Seven minutes they've scored. This is Charlton all over again as it stands. Oh, for God's sake. Well, judging by that, we've got work to do. Choking me. Fuming. They're loving it. They're loving it, and I'm fuming. Oh, I'm fuming. One nil, Birmingham. Oh my God. C guys, get rid of it, please. Thank you, Connor. Oh, that. Straight at the keeper. Ah. Oh. Powen's done well to clear that for now. Is the space? Oh no. Ah, oh, Randall's giving it away. No. Get in, Connor. That's the spirit, my guy. Yeah, like Liam's just said, forwards. You tried, you tried. Yeah. Right, take him on, Finn, take him on. Take him on. And that's gone out. Birmingham goal kick. Green and white, Bobby, I mean. Straight at the keeper again. Out. So frustrating, honestly. Right, well, it's half time. It's 1 0 Birmingham. Uh, to put it bluntly, uh, as I've trapped my tracksuit, uh, my taking the seat up again, I've trapped my tracksuit because I'm an idiot. I know it's only been four games so far this season for the championship, but hands down so far, that's the worst performance if choosing. So, yeah, no, just nothing's working. Nothing's working, in my opinion. Birmingham are 1 0 up. Their defence is so compact and tight right now, we just can't get anything at the moment. I think Sui might change them in the second half, I don't know. It's a very. Frustrating first half, very frustrating first half. My honest opinion, I'll put this out there now, they've been the better team, so I'll be happy for a point at this point, just like what we did at Watford two weeks ago. Liam, what's your thoughts on that so far? Uh, it's a tough one, really, because we haven't played that well. No, they, they've, no. they've controlled the game, they yeah. deserve the, the lead so far. No, I agree. They took their, uh, I say they took their goal well. Should I don't I couldn't see the foul yeah. in the build up, I'll have to re watch it. Uh, but they deserve their lead to be honest, we need to uh, do better in the second half. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, I couldn't agree more. And yeah, I just it's been I happily take the point. Yeah, I'm all the same. As it stands, they're getting revenge from the FA Cup two seasons ago. So there we are. A very tough first half that was and big one coming up and like Liam said to me um, off camera if we do lose today we've got to bounce back at home next week against Blackburn because I know it's a tough league they're going to be another tough side but I've said it all season so far the home form is going to be the key and we need to keep that right well we've got a second half coming 
tunnel cam. All right, second half. We got a 1 0 deficit to turn around. Oh, they've done well to defend that. Ah, this is so frustrating. Here we go. Morgan! Oh, no! Best chance of the game, bar none. I don't know why the Birmingham fans are complaining. We're taking a free kick, you Muppets. Oh! Uh... Come on, boys. Ah. That's a foul ref. What else do you want to do, Birmingham? On. Ah, oh, no one quite there. Ah. Oh. Stop it, how minutes is it gonna be? Six. Oh, oh it's close. <laughs> it's not as much as I thought. Hang on! Oh my god, no! Oh my god!
I have to give it to Birmingham. That was amazing defending. But we go again. That was definitely a win or bin chance that was then. deserved from them. Now I'm saying completely undeserved. Oh, f*** off. Ridiculous. I'll say exactly what I said last Saturday. Count yourselves lucky, the f*** lot of you at home. To make it worse, it was f***ing Jay Stansfield well. I told you, of course it was going to be a f***ing Exeter man. Someone slapped me. I cannot believe that. Oh, and that's it. That's the last kick of the game. So unlucky again. At least we can be proud of the boys. If we were so bad today, then I get that and I would have understood if we lost. But to lose like that for a second game in a row, I can't believe that. I'm so proud of the boys though, regardless. They deserve every minute of praise, especially for that second half. Well done, boys. I'm fuming, I'm fuming, I'm fuming. Boys done us proud. Morgan, we love you, we love you. What a man. Look at them clapping. F off, f off, and f off. And that's us now leaving Birmingham, so there we go. Oh, that's me right off that ass. That is so me off. Oh, I know I sound really salty right now, but. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? Especially when we, that's happened for a second week in a row. Ended what? Yeah, should have ended one-one, but it ended two-one. I'll tell you more later on at the end of this video. How do we feel after that, Liam? I'm gutted. Just There's the ball, no words. Just the ball over the top just really frustrated me because at first I, 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 I thought uh, Stanner wouldn't get there. And of course it was him thought, as well, of course it was him. I thought our defender would get there. I think on top of my head it was Gibson, I'll have to look back on it. It just pains me this week. It is pain, this is pain. Six hour coach journey home, it just makes it even worse. Yeah, um, 100%. And we have to bounce back against Blackburn. That's a must win and if now we don't, after that. 
if we don't, though, just getting three points from. If we, I mean, games. if we don't, we're just we just know we're in for such three, a tough season. Three points from five games. It's not, it's not what, I would have, what, what, what I would have took. And going into the uh, uh, international break, kind of international break, kind of thing. Uh, before, we before we play Preston we play, at Deepdale. Before we play Preston at Deepdale, I mean. Give us a, just give us a draw in that game as well, really. I mean, we've Preston. really just, we've really just got to like. I'd have been so happy coming out with a one all today, and then that happens thirty seconds before the death. Seconds, yeah. I think you had it on film. That is just so frustrating. And, um, so frustrating. And after Preston, it's uh, Norwich at home. Oh dear. Uh, we made him. We made him poor personally. Second half, Second especially. Second half, we did, yeah. And the ball was over the top that they had in the, in the second half, the four. But the last one that they did somehow worked. No. And whoever the defender was should have got there. And I don't think Stano is the strongest player in the league, but far from it. So. No, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. How do you make of that, Arbor? Um, I feel like I want to throw up in my own mouth. Yeah. And then Got throw it. up again Pain. and just swallow it again. It, it's horrible. And it's a tough one to take because we deserve, we deserve the draw. We played so well that second half. We deserve something. It always happens to us. It, it, it's just, obviously this is probably the worst result I've probably had to experience in a long time for us. But it's just horrible. How we didn't deal with that is, it's, we should, they should be f doing better than that, but it's just ruined that also, second half. Why do we not just, I don't know, go backwards to our defence and play it out for a draw? But, it is what it is. It's just, it's just, it's just annoying, honestly. It's just, yeah. We have no other words to say, and I'll tell you more about my own thoughts later on. <sighs> Such a hard one to take. It's it's this pain in a nutshell. This is pain. I don't see us getting relegated. Ridiculous. I don't see us getting relegated. No, neither do I. Neither do I. If we get relegated, it's because of games like this. Yeah. Rotherham are dog right now. Sheffield Wednesday are. Huddersfield are. Well, Middlesbrough are at the moment, but I don't know how they'll get on for the rest of the season. Those teams have been poor. We've been good, and we're not getting the results that we deserve to get. Two games in a row. Southampton last week, now Birmingham this week. I tell you what, we need to get a result against Blackburn. We I said to that to Liam, we need to win against Blackburn. And George's not good enough. And George's not good enough. At home, I agree. We need, a, we, we we need, need to win at Blackburn. We need to win. We need to win. We, against Blackburn, we need to win. Yeah. And if we can beat Crystal Palace on Tuesday night, even better. All right, guys, so of course it ended full time. Birmingham 2, Plymouth 1. I'll tell you more of my thoughts at the end of this episode, of course, but I'm joined by Heidi, Birmingham fan here. How do you feel after that, then? Very good. I don't blame you, to be fair. No, um, where do you think you're finishing the table now after that, as it stands? Probably still third. Third? Fair yeah. enough. Is that where you are on the table now, right after now, that? Yeah. Fair play, fair play. Um, you, you're back home again next week, you're Millwall at home. Um, confident for that? Yes. Yeah, fair enough. Currently on the train back to Telford at the moment to obviously see family and all that. Heart is still boiling after that. It's gotten, it's gotten, but what can you do? Football, again, like I said, we have to bounce back next week when we play Blackburn at home. Like, that is a must win now. A cup draw against Palace on Tuesday night at home, but there we are. I'm, I'm back in Plymouth on Monday, so another nice trek back down to the homeland. So all that really, but in the meantime, while I'm on my way to Wales, technically. I'm joined by Martin, a Birmingham fan here. Mate, how do you feel after that then? Yeah, I thought it was a pretty good game to be fair. Um, what we had the first half. Second half, I thought Plymouth were on top and to be honest, 10 minutes to go, I would have taken the point. Um, but obviously, Jay from Lyman did the business for us, so happy days. Yeah, um, something and, I'm not happy and good with, luck And good luck for the rest of the season. No, I appreciate right. that, thank you. Where do you think Birmingham will finish this season at the moment? Um, Mid-table to... May scrape the playoffs if we have a really, really good Ooh, season. Okay. And, and, I like the confidence. And, and also stay injury free. We've, we've got a, a really good starting eleven. We haven't got much depth at the moment, so if, if we can keep the injury free, we may be all right. And just about to scrape the playoffs. Yeah, fair enough. And where do you think we'll finish this season? Oh. Obviously, League One ten, champions ten, just come up from the ten, League One. Tenth to fifteenth, I would say. Um, I'll take that. 
And again, I don't think you'll be in trouble from what I've seen today. You look at yeah. decent side, just got to put your chances away, you know. Yeah, and, fair enough. I mean, I've got us 13th anyway, so yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, about right then, isn't it? Well, yeah, anyway, so enjoy the rest of the season. Was there anyone for Birmingham today that really stood out for you, players? I thought and we've got to look out for again in December when he comes home. I thought, thought Anderson was superb to be honest today. Yeah, uh, fair enough. I thought he was superb. Uh, pretty good. Uh, I, thought, I, thought, I thought Bakuna was pretty good, but again, defensively, I don't think Bakuna's where he should be. Should be playing at fullback. But it's uh, but it, but it decent, decent performance. All right, guys. So of course it ended full time. Birmingham two, Plymouth one. I have no words to say about that. I really don't. I really have no words to say about that. I'm, I'm gutted. I cannot be more gutted than that. Seriously, like. The fact that we've managed to concede right at the death for a second game in a row is an absolute joke when we knew when we deserved so much more today. And it's just the, it's just the hard thing of being in the championship. Next week against Blackburn at home now is a must win after that. A must, must win. And like, like, can you blame me for being angry? Like, no, surely not. Like... What more can you do when you have such a painful defeat like that? When we, we got to turn these games around if we want to stay in the championship this season. It's as simple as that. Um, I'm now about to get in the car because my dad's come to pick me up. I'm getting absolutely squashed as usual. Um, so there is that as well. But honestly, I just that I have no words to say. I have no words to say there, guys. Pain in the arse. Every single minute of that full time has been an absolute pain in the arse. And now we've got to bounce back next week at home against Blackburn because we should be on more points than that so far this season. I just can't believe we've lost uh, again so unluckily for a second time in a row this season. I have no words to say. I have no words to say. The boys played their socks out. Yet again, and of course it was bloody Jay Stansfield that got the winner. A former Exeter man, just to rub the salt in the wounds. So, obviously, I'm, I'm very angry with that ending. I really am, because we knew, I'd be deserved so much more. If you said that to me at the end of the first half, then fair enough. Because first half, Birmingham were the better team from start to finish. And in that first half, and we deserved to be 1-0 behind. But that second half, Shuey changed things yet again. We're one all, look to keep it that way. And I'd have been so happy to come back to my family's house with a point, um, a point away from home. But no, we concede 30 seconds before full time, again. Stoppage time, I mean, again. And no wonder my heart is absolutely boiling right now because uh, I have no words, I have no words. I'm actually surprised I'm not even shouting because that is so painful, honestly. So we we got no other choice now but to move on to Blackburn next week at home and of course Palace in the Cup on Tuesday night. Big, big game. Both of them are big games, of course. I mean, it just shows that we need to put our chances away more if we want to. If we won't, not just want to stay in the championship this season, but do even better than that. It's as simple as that. That is such a painful result and. I could go on and on. I really could go on and on. But what can you do at the end of the day? Birmingham put their chances away more so than we did, especially at the end, so jammily like that. And they won it. And it's costed us. So there we go. We, we have to move on to next week now. But yeah, it's, it's a painful one. And on the Argyle Way's and first year anniversary as well to make, make it even more annoying. But there we go. Um... You might hear me raging on the review, but there we are. See you on the next episode. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Anyway, take care, everyone. I'm going to go and cry and go bed. Bye-bye. Like, seriously, what more can I say? What more can I say? Such a pain in the arse that result was. I have no more words to say. Absolutely robbed yet again for a second game in a freaking row. The fact that they can celebrate as if they've won the league like that is... Oh. 
I want to cry. I want to cry. I hate football so much. My heart boils like that. There had to be that freaking Jay Stansfield, didn't it? To make it a perfect day for Exeter City, Birmingham City, the M5 motorway to spoil Plymouth Argyle, Plymouth, Janalands, Cornwall and the Argyle Way's anniversary. And of course it was Jay Stansfield that did that as well. You had to write it in the freaking stars, didn't you? You had to write it in the stars! Just outside the penalty area on the left. Now into the box. Well, Pedro, Sammy's a shot with his right foot. Sammy's with his left foot. Back onto the right. Stands the ball. When they pull on the green, they're all janners.